friends, uh, today I am going to explain a very important topic of uh, numerical analysis uh, that is called spline function. And then we proceed for a cubic spline. What is cubic spline and how we uh, plot? So, what is first spline function? Actually, uh, spline is used to uh, plot uh, fitting the data in interpolation. We have set of data. So basically how we fit, best fit, is cubic spline. How we fix, uh, draw the straight line between the intervals so that uh, it's a best fit. So what is the spline function I will explain and I will explain everything here. And let uh, AB be the given interval. and divide the interval into sub intervals so that x0 is a is equal to x0 less than x1 less than x2 finally x1 is equal to b Suppose the interval given a b. So first thing is that we have to divide the interval into some interval. A polynomial. Fx. Is called the spline function. Here x0, x1, x2, xn, all are called nodes or nodes. Where x0 and xn, if you remove, then remaining one is called internal nodes. So these all are nodes which are given. So spline is a function fx if it satisfies following property. What is first property? First property is f of xi is a some function of xi only where i went from 0, 1 to n. Second property uh, for each sub interval fxi each sub interval xi minus 1 to xi fx is a polynomial of degree n and third property is fx and its first n minus 1 derivatives are continuous on close interval a. If any function fx is satisfies these three property is called spline function. So for basically for a spline function you have to prove fx and its first n minus 1 derivative all are continuous because already they defined uh, which type question they can ask if they can give uh, some function they ask you to check it's a spline or not. So fxi is equal to fxi already given check, just check it's a polynomial of degree n or not for each sub interval if it is given then just go and check its derivative means fx continuous or not f dash x continuous or not or f double dash continuous or not once you check all you can say it is a spline function or not 
After that, we will go for cubic spline. So first, we will do one example. Check the given function is cubic spline. Function given like this. Five x cubed minus three x squared, and x went from minus one to zero, and minus five x cubed minus three x squared, and x went from zero to one. So here I have to check. This is cubic spline or not? So how we check? See, f(x) defined, defined for each sum interval. Here, three sum interval, two sum intervals are there. One is minus one to zero, and second is zero to one. And both are cubic spline. We have to check. It means uh, degree three polynomial. Yes, both are degree three polynomial. Now uh, our last part. Uh, check uh, f(x) and n minus one derivatives are continuous or not? Because we have to check it's a cubic spline, so it means we have to check f(x), f dash x, and f double dash x. Because n minus one means three minus one means two, so we have to check all f(x), f dash x, and f double dash x are continuous or not? So here zero is a point of this continuity. We can tell. We have to check just at zero. Uh, because there is a only the doubt, we can't say it's a point of discontinuity. So at zero we check. So how we check? Limit this is a way to check. But I will take or tell that trick uh, how we check this pointing uh, continuity or continuity about any point when function given like this. Simply we have to check at zero. Just put zero value here in x in place of x. Just put zero. What we get? Zero, zero. So find the value is zero. And what is value here? Zero, zero. So both are zero. Both are equal. It means it is continuous. So. What is u dash x? So f x is continuous. Just we put zero value. If both equal, it means continuous. Now, what is u dash x? Differentiate. So 15 x square minus 6 x. X went from minus 1 to 0, and this is uh, minus 15 x square minus 6 x. X went from 0 to 1. Again, at 0 you have to check. Just put zero value. Again, zero, zero. Both are Equal. It means it is also continuous. Now, here what is f double dash x? F double dash x is 30x minus 6. This is minus 30x minus 6. So again, put x value zero. Both are equal to minus x. It means this implies. f x, e f dash x, and e f double dash x. All are continuous on minus one to one. So, uh, how we check continuity? At a point, just put value. If both equal, it means continuous. If both not equal, it means not continuous. Suppose uh, I will take one more example, uh, which is not cubic spline. See, in case of minus, if you put here plus, just then check. So, f x when you put zero, so zero zero, f x continuous. What is f dash x? Zero zero. This is also zero. f dash x also continuous. Now, what is f double dash x? This is minus. This is plus. So here, when you put x zero, it is minus six. 
and when we put x zero here, it is plus six. So minus six and plus six both are not equal. It means are continuous only. But if double dash x is not continuous, it means this function is not cubic spline. Because if double dash x is not continuous, so hope you all understand how we check if it is spline or cubic spline. So for cubic spline, I uh, use the two formula or two examples uh, to check if it is cubic spline or not. What is the procedure? Just because it is a third and third order, third degree polynomial, so no need to check uh, second one. And then first one defined, just you have to go for third one. It is continuous or not, and easily you can do. Uh, hope you all understand this one. This is very easy thing to check function is cubic is fine or not. In next lecture, I will explain you how we find cubic is fine. Thank you.